Hello everybody, welcome back to Evolve. We're going to be playing as Kyra Tech... We're not going to be playing as Kyra Tech, Hank Crow and Blitz Marco. We're going to be playing as Goalie. Um, my god, I have just finished work, by the way, so, you know, my head is fried. Um, we're going to be playing as Goliath. We're not going to be playing as Kyra. Um, we're on Armory, which is a bit of a sandy map, but we've just done a sandy skin. We'll do White Tiger. It's kind of pale as well. Um, yeah. It's been that kind of day. Uh, Team-wise, middle of the road. Crow doesn't really do much against Goliath, just sorts of exists against him, the same reasoning behind Blitz Markov. Uh, Kyra's a decent medic. Uh, Tech Hank is the weakest support in the game. So, I mean, he's only weakest because the bot doesn't really know how to use him properly. Um, you're supposed to basically feed shields onto your teammates whilst you're actually hunting the monster. Uh, but the bot just plays him as though as the same way regular Hank is played, which is just to beam people. But regular Hank gets the full shield on his uh, target teammate just, uh, like immediately. Uh, attack Hank doesn't because you have to charge it. So he just sort of like taps the beam on people and it doesn't really do anything. We shall see. I say they do have a decent medic on this team though, so. As always, we're going to be getting ourselves out of our juvenile stage. Because we are very weak at the moment. This is where the. Uh, the game is in favour of the Hunters in this particular uh, period of it. Yeah, fuck off. Trap jars are more of a monster deterrent. Because um, Hunters can actually kill them very quickly, but it takes quite a bit for the monster to kill them. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a very quick stage to walk in animations, by the way. There's quite a few of them. don't get that these days. You get fucking people who glide along the floor with about three frames of active animation. Well, you know. Uh, yeah, we'll just go for it here, honestly. Should be alright. We'll grab rock. We shall be grabbing rocks as well. I'll be having that, thank you very much. That's a lot of food. I'm gonna have to kill that because I don't like things that squeak when they're in pain. I might sound soulless and heartless by my dead pun voice, but you know. Um we'll just eat the rest of this and then I'll get in there. Actually fucking baited. Knocked him the wrong way, fuck. It's fine. Stand under here because I don't get it by it. Physics and depth to the gameplay, by the way. I have to mention simple fucking things like that, ladies and gentlemen, because it's something that DBD actually lacks these days. Like a shit you not, know, you can like play as a character like Artist, which I've been playing as recently. And if your crows are fired at survivors that have even the slightest bit of fucking elevation against you, they just sail right through them. But I can use actual shelter against an orbital here, you know? It's the little things, ladies and gentlemen. Or things that should be here. Uh, <laughs> actually a thing, but um. But anyway, it's fine. Just use the flame on him. go for you. I was going to try and drop rock him there, but it's... that didn't hit him. Okay. We do get that. We get it on splash, that's fine. We'll get out because I'm about to lose my armour.
Any flame, please? Thank you. This is going to be stage three ready, but we are going to go... Yeah, we're going to go for one more here. Very quick down on uh, Takank there because he did out position himself and went ran the wrong way. Do you ideally want to stay in the middle of your team in that instance? You have a shield. Attack cancel, but it's fine. While we're on the uh, slate train here, ladies and gentlemen, I just want you to also be aware of the fact that what you're seeing on the screen right now is me being rewarded for using my abilities as the power roll. Um, something else that DBD actually lacks. Through consistent fucking evidence as of late, when I'm losing to very, very new player teams, and it's actually out of my control. Uh, my control. <clears throat> So what we are going to do is we're going to go to stage 3 here, because this has been quite a bit of a stomp this one, but I did say at the beginning it was probably going to be that way just by the uh, team comp. I do try to remember in certain situations like these particular ones when I say that it doesn't represent what the actual game was like. It only does at face value, because obviously if we had somebody using Tech Hank actually as he's supposed to be used, then, you know, we'd be going into a team basically each time with four fully shielded hunters. So, you know. You get move speeds. Where are we? We are here. Took sort of that square on the nose. He's going to insta die here as well. Please, can I leap smash to try and cast that there? It's a full uh, re heal though. Fucking no man's coming out of nowhere. Actually stopped me from uh, getting that off there. Didn't flick that to, I did it too slow. Do it that. We'll go in. I was going to get out because Kyra can uh, heal very well at range, so Markov's going to be up any second as soon as she gets line of sight on him. Split it there. She does buy him another wave. Can, however, use this to get the damage loose. She's very high sustain in Legacy. Hold it. We'll go and get some armor. We're going to have no assault, though, however, so. Not looking too good for him. So we only need half here. I, I don't know if it's actually only Crow, actually. I know it's not. It'll be Hank as well. So what Hank needs to do in this situation, it's actually a viable thing, is cloak and run off, which I believe is what he has actually done. This is why the relay exists, because you can force him back out again. There he is. Get him anyway. 
Yeah, that's going to be it. As I say, with Tech Hank, it's down to the bot itself. It's not the fact that he's actually an underpowered character. He's actually very... I remember very briefly, I believed it was a small window towards the end of the, the game and when I was playing it, where I did see people using Tech Hank. And you are basically going in against four fully shielded hunters when he's used properly. So he does have decent utility. Um, his orbital is actually also better than uh, base base Hanks because base Hanks doesn't move it's just casted onto one area and it's quite short the uh, the beam of tech Hank follows you and it's quite it does last for quite a long time as well it's probably never going to hit a fast monster but it does provide quite a lot of decent area pressure so if you know you're fighting in an area you can cast it down where they're fighting and it'll it'll, it'll either pull the, the monster off the hunter that they're currently targeting or force them to try and move somewhere else you know it's more about area denial with that one than um, actual damage because i think base hank's orbital does slightly more damage if the monster's caught in it than the beam but as i say the beam's more it just lasts longer as well so well, there you go hope you enjoyed and i'll hopefully see you for the next one as always bye